Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I'm going to be reviewing the McFarlane Toys Superman from Batman The Dark Knight Returns. So this is part of a builder figure wave. In this case, we're going to be building a horse and there's four figures you need to get to build that horse. Going to be Superman here, Joker, Batman, and Robin. And I've already reviewed the Joker. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it. And spoiler alert, I like that figure. But now, it's time to open up this Superman. I like to refer to him as Big Face Superman and see if it's as good as that Joker. Let's take a look. So here we go, Big Face Superman. And jokingly, I'm calling him Big Face Superman, but hey, look, you gotta admit, look at that mug. I mean, it's huge, big square jaw. It's totally different than what we usually see Superman as. And he actually kind of reminds me of Stan Smith from American Dad. So if you imagine him as Superman, boom, you got this guy right here. But, you know, all jokes aside, it's still accurate. Um, it's the way that these characters looked in uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns. So kudos to McFarlane for making this particular line of figures. And they definitely, 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 definitely are going to be some of the most unique looking figures of this line on your shelf and, and classic looking figures too. Now, getting down to this figure in particular and how McFarlane did with it, I think for the most part is good. Outside of some cosmetic imperfections that may not be apparent on the figure that you get because they can vary from uh, figure to figure. So taking a look at his face here, this Superman does have side eyes in a way. Um, they aren't necessarily looking off to the side, but they're not straight either. So we're just gonna put everything under the side eye category. And I wish I had looked closer at this figure when I was uh, getting him at the store because there was a couple of different ones to choose from because one of the eyes on this Superman is a little bit more squinted than the other. So it's a little bit off in that regard. So his face doesn't look completely good like I would like for it to to look you know it kind of looks like he has a facial tick in his eyes just squinting so that's one thing um, about my particular figure uh, that I wish were different another thing is the Superman symbol uh, I reviewed um, well, a few of these McFarlane Superman figures and I'm always mentioning how one of the most important things to me is the S on the chest and making sure that it's good and it's clean and it's solid you know because that's the mark right there you know this Superman I think they got it about 90% of the way there are some paint imperfections there um, in the yellowing uh, some a little bit of sloppiness here and there on the top of the symbol, it was, it's like a little shiny spot, you know, like there was maybe some glue or something, I'm not sure, that got washed up here and they just kind of wiped it away, but it left a very shiny residue in its, uh, in its place. But the S is good for the most part. You're not gonna see it at a distance, but just to scrutinize it, I wish it were a little bit cleaner. Let's turn him around, look at the back of his cape. I like how there's a pattern to his cape, not just swooping to one side like it does to simulate motion. I do like that. But I also like how when you look at the cape, you can also see some um, kind of like curls, wrinkle, like a wrinkly pattern, the way that it flows. I do like that. Um, but as far as the little imperfections go, you can kind of see on the cape, there's a little bit of black on there. You know, it's just some errant paint here and there that just found its way onto the red of the cape. So again, nitpicking, can you see it at a distance? Of course not, because his back will be turned. You won't be able to see it. But just for me looking at it right here, I wish that it were better but it's not that big of a deal. Let's turn him back around. I mentioned his face earlier, but if we can get nice and close on his face, you can see that it still looks really good. Side eye aside, uh, I think his, he is a very complicated looking face, you know, it's very chiseled and he almost has like a, almost like a Ronald Reagan kind of a look going on to him as well, you know? So I do like that. I do like the, you can sort of see the little wrinkles here and there and, and how the lips are a little bit pursed. They're going up a little bit, you know? So the face is good, face is good. Uh, so design of the figure overall, good. I'll probably be saying that a lot in this review, you know, good. 
Let's take a look at the articulation to see if it is also good. Now this Superman is absolutely jacked and because he's jacked, can't move his arms as much as someone who weren't, wasn't as jacked. And what I mean by that is just the elbows. I'm just looking at the elbows. That's as far as you can get the elbow to bend like that. So, you know, it's not a lot of motion in the elbows. It's not terrible, you know, just regular like single joint type of an elbow. So that's as much of a bend that you can get out of that. But because the arms are separate from the rest of the body, it allows you to still get a nice range of motion, get your up, up and away pose, get that going on if you want to, you know, and butterfly it in and out like that. And then you have your fists that rotate. Sure they do. And they hinge as well. A little bit stiff on mine, but I can see the joint there so they can hinge. There you go. You probably heard that click and I can just bring it back like that. Yeah, another thing about these McFarlane figures, um, you might wanna take a little bit of time to warm them up just a little bit, just so you won't uh, have to worry too much about uh, joints popping and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you look at the elbows here, it looks fine when you look at it, you know, dead on like this. But if you wanna kinda of see how the sausage is made, when you look at the bottom, I understand that this is the type of thing that can look kinda of unattractive the way that the, um, that the joints look when the elbow is bent like that, you know, it just kind of looks very strange, very odd, you know, but again, nitpicking things. One thing about this Superman that I thought was uh, actually pretty cool was how far his legs can go out. I was actually pretty shocked, pretty far out. Look at that, you know, this Superman has definitely got the mobility in the legs there. So really good. You got yourself double jointed knees. Double jointed knees are good. You got toe articulation as well. This on the right foot has uh, kind of seized up for me. So I need to warm that up. But here on the left foot, it moves just fine. So the right foot's a little bit seized, the left foot is fine. And then you got, the, you can pivot it as well. Got nice wide feet. He's not hard to stand up on his own, but I do think that is easier with the help of the included base that all these figures come with. So he's got good articulation in the legs. You know, he can kick up that far. That's pretty good. And then you can never really kick back all that far. It's just, you know, kind of the way that the that legs work. And then you can also get some rotation there at his abdomen, you know. You can get him to go left and right. He will stay there. It won't just automatically want to snap back to the center. So you can do that. And then he also does have some rotation in his abdomen. So you don't have to just rely on the legs, kind of like that Joker figure, in order to get him to move back. He can do that independently. So you can see you can rock it a little bit as well. So yeah, a uh, little bit of paint imperfection right there on the belt, a little bit of red guy onto that. So the articulation on this Superman, I say, is good, is good. Now, unfortunately, this Superman did not come with a flight stand, which I think would have been really great, especially since the card that he comes with, it has him in a flight pose and most Superman do come with the flight stand, but this one didn't. And I guess because he also comes with the builder figure pieces, maybe that was a little bit too much to fit in the box. But if you do want to see the builder figure pieces that he comes with, we get a couple of horse legs, articulated horse legs, actually, you know, these legs can just kind of go up and down like this. So, so far I got two figures from this line. We are definitely going to build this horse. And so far from what I've seen of the horse, it looks pretty good. Other accessories that you get from this for this Superman is just two nice beefy open hands. So you can have fisted hands, you can have open hands or a combination of both. It's all up to you. But those are all the accessories that you get with them. So overall, um, I do like this figure. It is not my favorite Superman out of um, all of them from the McFarlane Toys line. I think my favorite Superman is probably, probably the classic Superman from DC Rebirth. You know, it's just, it's really good in its simplicity. Um, I do like this Superman. The side eyes kind of suck, but um, you know, as far as it being a figure goes, you know, it's a good figure. 
doesn't really knock anything out of the park, but there's not enough wrong with it for me to say, well, take a second guess before you get this. Um, so even if you are just really wanting to get the Build-A-Figure horse, I do think that this is still a figure that you will get and you'll still be happy that you have it, um, even if it wasn't going to be uh, your first choice for Superman to have in your collection. All right, so that is it, you guys. I wanna get the two other figures, Batman and Robin, so we can put this horse together. Not sure when that's going to be, but when that happens, we'll do reviews on both of those, and then we'll take a look at that horse. Excellent. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.